state final? Oh, did ya? Basically, these little triangles down here, yes. that's normal. Okay. This is where we're at right now. Uh, yeah. So right now, uh, the latest reading we have as, as of 9 o'clock this morning was at 20 feet, and then we're still forecasting to crest near 23 feet. These are unprecedented red levels. So if you, if you look in the history books, uh, back in 1904, the river reached up to 19, about 19 and a half feet. Uh, and uh, we have not, uh, in current lifetime, seen record levels up to 23 feet. My home was impacted as well. So uh, while I'm at work, uh, we have to deal with, you know, issues of flooding as well at, at home. So, so that makes it pretty stressful. All around West Michigan right now, all this rain is causing basements to flood, and I'm here with Brandon of Surf Pro, who yep. actually deals with this kind of problem. So I go to my house, my basement is flooded, what do I do? Well, you want to try to get to what the source was first, and that's usually in this case going to be a sub pump, and try to get that either running again, or if it has failed, you want to try to get it replaced, to try to stop that water to keep coming into the house. Um, next thing to do would probably be to get your furniture up on blocks, you know, anything that's valuable, paper goods, um, stuff like that out of the water so it doesn't either stain the carpet or ruin the goods themselves. And then definitely want to get extraction taken care of. As much water you can physically remove as possible is going to be better off. Okay, so how do I actually physically remove water from a basement? Well, shot vac's one way to do it. If you get the sub pump going again and it's a concrete area, you can squeegee the, the water towards the sub pump. Um, or you can call a professional out to do it if it's something you can't handle yourself. Um, you know, and we'd be more than willing to help with that too. Now, I did hear that there are places that you can actually rent like shop vacs or yeah. sump pumps? Yep, definitely. And you know, you, if you need a bilge pump for standing water, stuff like that, there are a lot of places you can attain something like that. Okay, so I get the water out of my basement, but you know, things are still damp. What should I do next? Well, the next thing is trying to save as much as you can as far as the flooring is concerned. You, the carpet sometimes can be okay, but you want to make sure you get the padding out. And you would want to remove the carpet back from the walls, get the padding out, bag it up, and get it out of the basement. Well, that's some quick tips on what to do if you have a wet basement. I'm Steve Zagman in Ada, WZZM 13 News. That massive search for the terror suspect is evident everywhere. Watertown and communities in and around Boston are on lockdown. No cars are being allowed on the roads. We're asking people to shelter in place, in other words, to stay indoors with their doors locked and not to open the door. This morning, police have released a new photo of Joe Carzer Nayib, who was involved in a shootout with police and is now on the run. Officials believe he is armed with guns and explosives and will fight to the death. He is posting online, I will kill all of you as you kill my brother. His brother, Tamerlan Sernayev, was shot and killed when he engaged police last night. The big break came on Thursday with a robbery of a 7-Eleven in Cambridge at 7.30 p.m. A surveillance camera inside the store captured the image that matched the man identified hours earlier as suspect number two. A short time later, police say the brothers ambushed a police officer on the MIT campus, killing him. At approximately midnight, the two suspects carjacked this Mercedes and led police on a wild chase through the streets of Cambridge, then neighboring Watertown. It's definitely hand grenades. Hand grenades and automatic gunfire. Eyewitnesses say the two men fired weapons and tossed explosives from the car at pursuing police. Jeff Breyer lives just yards from where police and the suspects came face to face. It was loud, rapid fire of uh, anywhere from a dozen to two dozen shots, uh, followed by an enormous large boom, which kind of shook the house. President Obama has been receiving regular updates from his national security team. He wants to know if these two suspects have any ties to international terror. Tamon Bradley, ABC News, Watertown, Massachusetts.